All right, just to let you guys know, we are starting to catch up with you now. Okay. Again, there is a bit of a delay because we're basically watching the replay as you make it. So does your computer render the graphics down so it looks prettier than everyone else's? Or? Yes. Yeah, I've got everything cranked up as high as it will go. Which doesn't mean much, because it's Blood Bowl. Yeah. Uh, yes. And I'm not spending money on Blood Bowl 2 because screw Cyanide and they're terrible. Okay. Alright, here we go. That's the, uh, that's the uh, Holy Cross, as I call it. It's terrible, but I like to set up that one. Here we go. Alright. No, you're not a terrible player. You're not a terrible player. Oh, you? Back here. <laughs> Where are my scrubs? Scrub. <clears throat> Guess I just have one scrub today. Your high elves remind me a lot of the old slam teams. For all the leaf. I don't know if you ever played those, but there was a uh, team that had everybody at leaf. That's how we would like. So if I can ask, just to see if I've caught up with you here, uh, where are you guys right now? I'm setting up. Yep. I'm waiting for him. Okay, I think we've caught up with you then. So is this little uh, square what you call the Holy Cross? Yeah, uh, that's exact. That, that's it. I, I don't. I've always set up uh, fast teams that way. I'm not sure why. And uh, people ask me if it's good or not. I don't think it is, uh, but mm. uh, I keep doing it. Is Block a double skill on the Rat Ogre? Yeah, yeah. So it was either that or Claw, but I, 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 went, with the, I went with the old Block. Block was a good here, move. Boys. Thank you. And there's the kickoff. All right, we've got a quick snap event. Lame. Can't leap over your line with my free move. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. It's like <laughs> Captain Fancy Pants. Good God, Only dodge, leader, accurate, block, and nerves oh, yeah. of steel. Looks like he's moving to just pick up the ball right there. All right, good luck. All righty, let's see what I can get done today. Probably not. All right, good luck, you two. I'm looking forward to a high-scoring game either way. Ah, that's my, that's my plan. Hey, picked it up. Good job. Look at the skills he's got. Captain Fancy Pants is the best thrower in the game. He has almost four times the yardage of any other player in throwing. <laughs> and it would be a shame if something should happen to him. It would be. Nice lodge, too. I don't... Yeah, it's gonna be hard to make something happen though. <clears throat> Those are nice green uniforms you have. All 
Alright, be nice to Daisy Duke, she's brand new. And there he is, Daisy Duke's catcher. Let's see, leaf and block, so very deep formation we have here. Now the High Elves, for those of you who have never played Blood Bowl, have one of the best throwing games in all of Blood Bowl. First of all, they have, as you can see here, a 4 agility. So let me move this chat block up. So they have a 4 agility, but it's more than that. So they're already naturally good at throwing the ball. But they've got pass uh, on their throwers, which means not only are they more likely to get the throw, period, but they get two chances at it. Meh. It was a mercenary. Yeah. yeah. Nerves of Steel means he doesn't Nerves. care about tackle zones. He can be surrounded. He can toss that ball out. And Accurate, I believe, gives him an extra on the roll. Not letting me, uh. Ooh. Looks like they're trying to intercept him now. It's not letting me highlight over their skills. He's gonna fail to go for it. Uh, oh, here comes the Rat Ogre. Makes the going for it. With so many of his elves deep into territory. <laughs> you watched last week, Barba. Yes, you did. Oh, maybe it was Reagan. Okay. That means I gotta do the how to play I Blood Bowl thing turn. again. Alright, and it is back to the fanciest of pants. Honestly, with a thrower of this caliber, um, I don't know if he really has much to fear. There goes F Captain Fancy Pants. And there we go. <laughs> <clears throat> Failed interception, and bam, right in the end zone. Wee! Well, that was easy. <laughs> that was easier than I uh, easier than I wish. Bravo! <laughs> These elves really make passing the ball look easy. <laughs> Why does it take so long for them to be a full fledged blood doll player? And there's his cheerleader celebrating the first point of the game. You know how many times oh. I've heard that stupid sound clip? <laughs> I, I, mu I muted that years ago. <laughs> yeah, it's all for this I game. I like it. Aww. There's already enough commentators. All right, so Barbara. I should have turned it off. I just. Do you want a? Uh, Oh. I want every bow. 
somebody, I think. Let's see how everyone's setting up here. So right now, the fanciest of pants are setting up to defend. Pretty good. Daisy Dukes, first game, catches a touchdown. First time. Oh, wait. Oh, that's good. That was a, a rookie, huh? Very nice. All right. Let me see if it'll... Okay. So here's the basics of the game. First of all, every piece has four stats. Um, I'm going to list them in order. You can see them right there in the lower right-hand corner of your screen. Uh, M.A., is movement allowance, strength is ST, AG is agility, AV is armor value. Uh, MA, it's how many squares they can move on their turn. <laughs> All right, here comes the blitz. Come on, rain. Ah, poop. That's a pretty good one. Oh, well, I didn't need it anyway there. Nice kick. See if we can get it to the kickoff here. Oh. Did you mean to put it right at the line of scrimmage? Uh, scrimmage? That was odd. Uh, no, no, that's not anywhere near where I kicked it. <laughs> Captain That'll... Fancy Pants can do many things. Kicking is not one of them. Yeah. Ooh, so that 1d6 variance, it's not going to go anywhere near where you want it. All right, we've got some blocking action going on. Oh! Oh, pinch nerve! Who's that? Get from this next game. Leap and block. Can he recover during the all? Can he recover during the All Star break? Ah, uh, nothing. I mean, not he's, he's all right, but you know, he can recover in the all-star break, right, Don? Well, unfortunately, I believe not, because um, I believe it doesn't. Uh, when it says miss next game, they mean it, even if it's between seasons. There's nothing I can do to change it. Yeah, I know. Because you had that problem, as I remember. Yeah, I always have that problem. Yeah. Before, I would have changed it, but I can't do anything about it now. All right, so I'm gonna go back over this again real quick here. So, uh, basically, all the players have four stats. I'm going to list them in order. Right. You can see them down here. There is MA, movement allowance. Uh, that's how many squares you can move. ST, strength. It's how easy it is for you to knock down players. AG, agility. That's uh, picking up the ball, throwing the ball, intercepting, etc. AV, armor value. How tough it is to get injured when you hit the dirt. Um, the average strength in... Uh, or the average score in strength and agility is a three. So all the elves have four agility. So they're pretty agile. Uh, it's very easy for them to move the ball. Um, but they don't have any high strength. The rats, for the most part, are strengths really? of three. Uh-oh. Looks like we've got something going on well, here with the uh, dress. This is why I hate the rats. It's that sidestep and just what they can get on those gutter runners. Well, I had here. tackle. I mean, yeah, that was that was a that was a good shot. I, I did not see that guy was a leaping tackle. That would have uh, changed my strategy a little bit. <laughs> this guy's got a five. It's almost impossible for him to screw up uh, moving the ball. Um, so that's really the gist of it. Um, there's a lot more going on. The main mechanic you want to be aware of, though, is turnover. 
So every time you screw something up, like if one of your players goes down, you fail a block, what have you, your turn ends and it turns over to the other player. This means everything you do in Blood Bowl is a risk management situation. You always want to do the least risky things first, but a lot of times you need to do the risky things to set up your strategy. So it's a very delicate balance. I have much beef with the Skaven. What beef do you have with the Skaven, Banjo? I wish that I had beef now. There's shorty shorts with strip ball. So that's who he needs to get in there. So what really makes the game hey, unique is like the skills really? on players. Um, keeps them from being boring. And that's how they uh, differentiate the different races. Is everything that is special about a player is a skill. The point of the game is to get the most points. This is the score right here. The game goes for 16 turns for each player. Uh, half time is at 8 turns. Uh, when halftime occurs, of course, there is a uh, changing of the field. Alright, so it looks like... Oh! Oh, he's going down. Broken neck. Frick. It's a lost point of agility. Yeah, sorry about that. Man. Or... Oh. Apothecary can give him a point in armor value. Rinse it. Rinse it out real quick. So as you can see here, we've got two players down. It's not good. These elf players are very expensive in comparison to the, the Skaven. Yep, that's what they do. Oh! And... And he makes it. Like I said, very high scoring. However, it looks like the Skaven are having an easier time of uh, injuring yeah. the elf players. Good thing I went with those high armor value elves. <laughs> yeah, you guys are, huh? I didn't even realize that. Yep. Yeah. yeah, these are the high armored elves. Only other ones are this high yeah. are the Dark Elves. Alright, so now we are at turn four. We've already had two points scored. So we're one to one. This was really effective last time, so I'm going to start with this again. Okay, so we've got them setting up in that cross. And now the elves are setting up. That's not other. <clears throat> we got two guys down. I don't know. Wait, who's hurt? My freaking catcher. Yep. Yep, that's my catcher. Great. Just what I needed. He's got better armor than half of them. Oh, that's just so loud, that background music. And here comes the kick. And a riot. Let's see how this turns out here. Oops. Oh my yep. God. Yep. Yep. Sorry, man. Gonna be one of those games, apparently. Oh. Very unexpected here. 
And of course that causes the turnover, which okay, could turn this very up, bad um, for the elves. Yep, double ones. Double ones. Ah. Um, perhaps you should make a sacrifice to Nuffle. I hear he likes pig skin. I ate pork for dinner. Well, well, there you go. You have offended Nuffle by giving by eating the pig skin yourself and not sacrificing it to him. Sure, why not? I recommend you buy yourself a nice Rawlings football and burn it. <laughs> I just feel too bad to make any jokes, so I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna let you do it. Oh, that's fine. I wouldn't worry about it. It's it's Blood Bowl. Fair enough. I mean, what I play now, I play undead. Just because there's less bullshit that can happen to them. True. And oh, he's got the ball. That is not good. These Skaven are just so cheap and good with the ball. I probably should have picked Skaven, though, because I just don't see much wrong with them. Uh, it, it's when, it really is when, um, well, the, all the AG, all the uh, Armored Value 7 guys, their agility is right. 3. What is that it, guy? It, it, um, yeah. it just, the, when, I guess I, I, I'll just say it now, when, when people start hitting the, the linemen, you just get outnumbered very quickly. Yeah, but your guys are so cheap. You just have yeah, more. Yeah, I, 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 but I only have $120,000 in the uh, in the kitty, you know? <laughs> they, they don't last long. <laughs> they die pretty quickly. Ah! Uh, I mean, um, before we had the reset when we changed platforms, like Dennis's team, like, I could just kill half the team, and he still had another team just ready to go. I think it's time for another reset, by the way. The only reason we had a reset was because we switched platforms. From, which, what, from what legendary to the original? No, we went from uh, uh, OBBLM. Okay. Yep. Which I like better. And if a if the cyanide path, um, module was still being developed, we'd be using it. But yep. no one's developing the cyanide yep. module for OBBLM. So it just kept getting more and more outdated, and it wasn't worth bothering with. Because, uh... Of course. Uh-oh. That is a ball of high-agility players right there. And you can see here, Mike is just trying to get some of these players down. And that's the thing. Like, once these gutter runners get built up, they're very hard to get on the ground. They're, they've got do block, dodge, sidestep. That guy heading out there for the... Uh... Touchdown. I like that. Push the thinking. All right, Nancy here is moving in the blitzers. Yeah, 
having the big guy with block really makes them reliable. Let's see here. Should have a pretty easy time getting out of this mess. Surprised to even win for the Blitz. And now it's just an easy, an easy run for him. With a movement value of 9. Uh, should not be hard at all. Yep, and right in the end zone. <laughs> and there you go, another and score the for the Skaven. <laughs> that up worked so well before. Huh? Alright, so here we are in round seven. Now keep in mind, after the half, it's going to go back to the Skaven again. So, unless Mike can really stop their momentum here, I think the Skaven may have this one. And the Elves have set up. And as you can see here, the Elves are already down to nine players on the pitch. Hey, dude. Quick snap. Quick snap. You guys are very quick off the ball today. Now, I mean, the Elves are one of the teams that could do a two-turn score. It's absolutely possible. Oh, I'll see if we can not pick up the ball again. In fact, they were able to do this um, right at the beginning of the game. Bravo. So, hey, look at that. Well played. Oh, you can step away in a quick snap. I didn't realize that. Yeah, I didn't know that either. I just uh, just figured it out, I guess. Yeah, I never, I never yep. saw that. One of the best things about Quick Snap. That's good, good to know. Duly noted. Now, if I was him, I'd get my other players out in the end zone. And that looks like what he's doing right now. Ooh, I don't know if I would. Oh yeah, versus two strength, absolutely. The real problem here is I have no idea how to not make you score or stop you from scoring. I don't think I can. Unless you don't get the ball. That's my my entire strategy is you not picking up the ball. Well, I, I think it's... You need a different defensive formation. Yeah. <laughs> like, you your defense formation <laughs> is just letting them run right deep into your territory. You, you, you might be on something. Once this has happened, yes, I don't know how you stop the elves from scoring.
Now, if I was Mike, when my turn comes up, I would stand this guy up and just have fancy pants throw the ball and hope for the best. Because with nerves of steel, doesn't matter how many guys you pile around him, he doesn't care. Right, let's see what happens. Oh, hold it. Oh no. Gandalf's uh, keeping that finger ready for later. I want to try to do that. Go for it. What's the happening? I know what I would do. Okay, what would you do, Don? Think that I already did it. I would have uh, stood a guy up and threw the ball. Well, I just threw the ball. I forgot about standing the guy up. Probably. Damn you, wild animal. That was a very inopportune wild animal. Yep, rolled another one. Well, actually, you rolled a two, not a one. Uh, negative two for the uh, distance. Oh, well, that was too, too long ago. I can't see it anymore. I thought it said a one. You can scroll up and see it. It equaled a one when everything was finished. Oh, okay. But I rolled a two. You rolled a two. Or whatever. Minus two for the distance. Plus one for accurate. Equals one. Yeah, all right. But well, whatever, it was bullshit. <laughs> oh! You see, this is what I mean about the Skaven. He just says such... Amazing ball movement for so little. I I, I happen to think they're very fairly priced. Um, they are uh, they're they're a good team. They're very well coached. You know. Yeah, they uh, they should be more they, expensive. Uh, <laughs> perhaps they should be more expensive. I mean, I, I think that'd be placing a little bit too high value in saving players. But, you know. um, that doesn't matter. This game's never getting updated again. <laughs> I, I'm well aware of that. <laughs> I, I'm just joking. I think it's a yeah. game, obviously. So, thank you, GW, for firing the LRB community. <laughs> or committee. Eh. I, I do still have two uh, strategy guys on uh, Plasmoid's site. N n none of them were for Skaven. Hmm. I'm a big fan of bbtactics.com. Yeah, that's not a bad one either. Uh, Plasmoid is just one of the rules committee guys. Just one of the I wrote for him. I thought I recognized that from somewhere. Sure. Yeah, he was, he's the guy that did the... He's the guy that actually created the Bretonian list. And the, um... And the, uh... And he's the one that did the, uh... Was, on, was the kind of the head of the, the rules to me for a while. Alright, let's try this again. Okay, so let's see how we're set up here. It's sort of sad that every time anyone makes a fantasy sports game, it's always shitty compared to Blood Bowl. You're, you're, you're damn right it is. I didn't, did, did any of you guys try that, um, the Dread Ball one? I, I have it. I, I have it. it. The, the futuristic. I, I've yeah, read the it. rules and I've read a few league reports and it. 
doesn't sound very good. Yeah. It's that's not Blood Bowl. It's that's the thing. Well, yeah, it's not but... football. It's not even remotely similar. There you go. There's the blitz that you needed. Damn you, blitz! Oh, Damn right, you! Um, I've only played like one game of Dreadball, but I have like yeah. everything Dreadball. I even have the the Ultra Dreadball pitch for like six players. Yeah, I I, I did the Kickstarter for it too, so I, <laughs> I I have I have a ton of stuff for it. I just I never played it. No one I no one I know has played it, with me, so it just like it just sits in my uh. Sits I found it. Fucking dust. Yeah, I found it hard to get used to, because you can't do the same strategy as you do in Blood Bowl. So I find it very hard to defend yeah. the ball carrier. Okay. You guys remember? Uh, I think it was based off of that, that that old Sega Genesis game. I forget the name of that one was, but it's like uh, it was. It's almost identical. Uh, there's an old Sega, and the, the Genesis game was actually very fun. Uh, it was, I spent uh, probably months and months and months of my life playing it. It's a very fun game. I can't remember. The, it might have been called Powerball for all I know, but it was, it was a very good game. Hmm. Not familiar. Yeah. No. Anyway, I don't think Dreadball is bad. I just think I it needs some. It needs a strategy guide. Is I really think what it needs. Yeah. Well, aren't there some teams where like if enough people get hurt, they can no longer pick up the ball for the rest of the game? I don't think so. Yeah. Because not everyone can pick up the ball. Oh, there we go. First injury for the Skaven. Ah, shit, it was, it was turn, turn eight. I did not, not realize that. I mean, the thing is, Dreadball games do not last very long. All right, we might be seeing a... Uh, one turn elf score here. It, now it would it, it, be very. Oh shit! Is it? Oh, it is the second half, huh? Oops. Yep, it is the second half. Oops. <laughs> there, 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 there is a big mistake already for me. <laughs> I thought I was like, oh, it's not the second half yet. Uh, oh well. Oh well. Alrighty. So you can see here the Skaven are trying to stop these elves from scoring. Unfortunately, probably the fanciest pants' weakest player is the one with the ball right now. However, he's easily able to hand it off to much better players nearby. Looks like we've got Mixing it up here on the line of scrimmage. So trying to get some players free here. And setting up the blitz. Push or both down. Oh, failed pickup. And that's the turnover. And then I was thinking it was, uh, it was still turning if I wasn't even, I was, wasn't even trying. See what the elves can do with this here. And they have some top quality players here.
I suspect we will see Captain Fancy Pants getting the ball. Has Captain Fancy Pants moved already? Nope. Nope. He's uh, he, he's in a bad position for me. And there he goes. Quick pass of the ball. But does he have enough movement? Oh, narrowly avoiding it. Now does he go for the going for it? He's already used his reroll. He's choosing not to go for go for it. Instead choosing to uh, move forward and cage up. Which means this uh, storm room in here is going to be a big problem. Luckily, the player with the ball Leap. does have dump off. That was a good leap. A uh, good move there. Now can... Oh, thought we had a few more to move here. And now it is back to the Skaven. And the wizard. Oh. Serious concussion. Mm -hmm. I guess that does not let you dump off the ball. No, apparently not. Oh, and he lost a point of armor value, too. Yeah. And, of course, here comes the gutter runner. With their crazy bullshit. And I think we have a pass coming here. And that reroll turning it into a good throw. And already. Already has enough movement to get the ball in the end zone. going poorly for the Skaven but only a badly hurt result so he'll only be out for this game which is better than we can say for the elves <laughs> oh does the tail work on that or no no Because uh, leap is not a dodge. Yeah, the prince on the is more Oh, uh, wild Actually, animal that kicking in. Beat me. That last game was a uh, sham. So bad. So it looks like uh, Craig is doing a little blocking action here. I'm assuming before he puts the ball in the end zone. And there it goes in the end zone. And now we are at 4-1. I have to say, I'm not sure how Mike can come back from this one. He's already down twice as many players, and his opponent still has players in reserve. Oh, I'm sorry, he's only down one more player. Let's 
let's go ahead and see the formations that we set up here. First of all, the Skaven setting up to kick the ball. We are at the 11th round. Now the elves are setting up. It's a bit of an unusual formation I'm seeing from the Skaven here. Usually you'd want your big guy up on the line of scrimmage. I'm not sure why he yeah, has him so far play. back. He doesn't have enough movement. Well, I take that back. Six points of movement isn't bad. I'm taking, uh, I'm taking Joe and Bob's advice here. So we've got 10 players versus eight. So fancy it's a pants down two players. Oh no, like you the... killed the ref no one bribe. Kickoff event uh, taking out the referee. What is, what is it? What is with that guy in his hands? He needs a reroll to pick up the ball. What for? So this is why I hate agility teams. Um, like, the movement is so good, but one out of every six times, you fail. Yep. And when you fail, you turn over. Yep. Yeah. Well, the sequel is coming out soon, Barba. Somebody in this league had to play one. True. That's that's uh, essentially why. Actually, I was gonna play um, high elves, and then I saw that somebody else was playing them, which is you. So I went with the uh, escaping. Well, I'm thinking about switching next year. I've played this for a while now. I mean, I, I want throwy teams in the league. You know, I I want to like a oh, teams. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. Oh. This team is uh. This is their last game, I think. Yeah, you're you're getting some bad luck there. Um, Will has said he's going to redo his orcs next season as well. All right, so we're good. So if we can talk the chaos team into redoing as well, we might have a good lose. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna. Um, he's not that far into it. Oh, here comes the blitz. Dodge is going to keep him up, but Strip Ball is going to take the ball out of his hands. I just don't know what I want to play, though. Yeah. You know, I just had to hand the ball to you. That was nice of you. Oh! There's another failed pickup there. Do you guys play tabletop at all uh, in the area? Or is it just uh, online now? I can't really hear Craig right this second. So. He was asking if we did tabletop. Um, I have the board and everything, and I've done some tabletop. But no, I just tend to do the, the digital more. I have a so. necromantic team. I just, I used to, I played tabletop like one, you know, two seasons or so. But, uh. I like the, um, the Chaos Pack teams. Me too. I, I wish they were, uh, I wish they were in the game. So do I. Uh, and they're, they're still not nice a Blood Bowl 2. Oh! Oh, is I this... Yes! It's good! It's good! Well played. Oh! 
all the way across uh, the we field. We were playing re-roll uh, blood, uh, blood Bowl with that agility team. It was, uh, that's where it gets fun. And, and he makes it. Touchdown for the fanciest of pants. Your thrower couldn't pick up the ball the entire game and it was just a two plus, but he, he, he got it and he was a four plus and Well, if you look at his skills, he's just a beastly thrower. Okay, I can do it. He is agility six, I think, when he's throwing. Or agility five. Oh, yeah. Because he got. No, just five because it's accurate. No, yeah, just five. Man, if he had an agility five, though, he'd be amazing. Yeah, nerves of steel, accurate, block, dodge. He's a, a scary mamma jamma. Oh, just a shitty lightning god. Oh, whatever. I still might get rid of this team. <clears throat> I'm just gonna play Kamari in the opposite of throwing. Oh yeah, yeah, they're they're fun until it rains, and then it, then there's no fun at all. Oh, I messed up my stupid. Oh well. <coughs> I messed up my setup. Mm -hmm. Don't about it. See here. Um, not getting the formations here. So we got the rats setting up, and there's the kickoff. So we've got basic wall here. Seven versus ten players with. Interesting. So, quick snap event means the Skaven are setting up here now. And that looks like an easy pickup for the Skaven. Looks like he's going for the knockdowns first. Can't say I blame him. Red Ogre. Ah, here we go. Hooray! Oh. Now, now the game's uh, very interesting. Oh, uh, there we go. Double Skulls. Not much I can do. Alright. Now, if the Elves can get this. And remember, they have a lot of players with leap. All they gotta do is leap over the line of scrimmage and get the ball. Good start. And they do it! Now can he just get some support? Oh, and he's throwing the ball. He's throwing the ball! Sending it back. That that's the wrong way, Mike. <laughs> yeah, but the other guy would just get murdered out there. I didn't have anybody else with leap, so what are you gonna do? Well, but now he's gonna get murdered there. Well, yeah, but I had a better chance of getting another guy next to him here, so it doesn't matter. At least this guy, at least uh, you know, Captain Fancy Pants is. Fla, you know, is a blodger of sorts. Oh, God. 
So this you is had the Ken, guy with Ken me. Wickle philosophy. <laughs> yeah, but it wasn't. Yeah, and Ken Wickle ain't wow. here, is he? <laughs> it's the Ken Wickle philosophy. A blogger will just solve all your problems. Uh. It didn't matter what I did. This was going to be the result anyway, so. You, you are quite outnumbered on this field. I'll give you that. I don't know. I would have taken the ball where you had it. <laughs> oh, so much movement. Go on. Just put it in. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it matters. What I did there. I, I think you matter. Yeah, that is a lot of dead elves. Four players already gone. I'll just give him some more uh, STP so he can beat the stupid, uh, what's him call it to him? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just hope he has a lot of claw. He I does. In a while. That's good. Those are, that's a, those are, he's, he's only got a couple targets for it, I'm like. And there's the kickoff. I'm mad at my guy. And there's a rock uh -oh. throw. And the fans were correct to be enraged. Yes. <laughs> Feel like uh, I'll take the KO. Oh. And that is one of the gutter runners being knocked out. That's quite bad for the Skaven. Hey, those gutter runners really are their star players. And came to pan kept in fancy pants throwing the ball again. <laughs> uh oh. What are we about to see? Yeah. That's what we're about to see. That's hilarious. And now it's a 10v6. Uh, there's Wild Animal kicking it again. Yeah, why not? Oh, he's oh, dead man. too. Awesome. I'm Whoa. Sorry, man. <laughs> normally, oh, no. normally we're not this much of bruisers. I apologize about that. Oh my. Like I said, scaven are broken. Yeah, you I think I think you you're uh improving yourself right on this one. That had nothing to do with this game. That is his, the dice are incredibly against me this game. Yeah. It's it's he because have you mighty get blow. It's just the player price with Skaven. They just too cheap. And they're too cheap. So now what is it? A ten V five, I believe? Yep, that is 10v5. Alrighty. Oh man. Yeah, I failed something, wow. And there's the turnover. Really, we're getting into a point now where it's just really hard for Mike to do anything. Because he's lost so many players. I mean, I've been here. When I was playing the Norse, it was like either I did this to your team or I quit in the second half because I couldn't do anything. <laughs> 
Yeah, Norse are a funny team too, because uh, when it, when things start going bad for them, it really goes bad. It just snowballs. I had a Yeti with block and up, you know, the claws and everything. It was just murdering yeah. players. Oh yeah, he had a plus strength too. Just for good measure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, now I have Undead. Hmm. Just so I don't lose players. <coughs> so, all about that regeneration. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, definitely the game there. And I've still lost a bunch of players as the Undead. So here we go, last turn for the Skaven. Yay! Fans wanted scoring, I didn't score. And another score for the Skaven. And it's, again, I'm sorry about the dice in here. And there we go, you can see we got two gonna lose, Skaven down. I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose. And we, we've accomplished that. Half. One, two, three, four, five, six. I, I, did I kill six two players? Guys? I've never done this. Oh, uh, yeah, you uh, killed two guys. Oh, man. I, yeah. And, and you, uh, the pitch took one out, right? Huh? Oh, yeah. The, pitch the, the took kills out have all been your players, though. Yeah, that, that's, uh, that's pretty amazing. And I think there were just line, I think there just line rats that killed people. Dirty, dirty line rats. Yeah, it's not like you. The ogre didn't do any of it. No, he did nothing. He he he, he was a he, he was a he was a wild animal four times this game. Yeah, you know what you should do? You should foul his players this turn. Yeah, you might as well. <laughs> you have a, you have a you have a bribe. You might as well take ah uh, perfect defense. You might as well take it out on him. You actually took a bribe? No, no, no. The uh, the. Uh, the uh, the fans oh, bribe the ref. Right, gotcha. <laughs> and an amazing kick for the last turn here. Yeah, right over can really kick ball. Just trying to make a pass here. Unfortunately. Too bad I don't have enough movement. Just does not have enough movement yeah. to make a, a score. I could leap over the line and call it a day. Oh, oh that was very nice of you. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, kind sir, for the, the good match. All right. It. Good game. Good luck in the finals. Uh, I really appreciate it. Sorry about the dice there. Oh, that's all right. I just got to figure out what team to play next year. All right. Good luck. Hey, right. thanks a lot Later. for setting this up. I appreciate it. Yep. Right. Did you want to say anything to our viewers before we go? Uh, play more Quiplash. All right. <laughs> later. All right. See you later. Looking forward to the finals. Yep. Bye bye. All right. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck. Ah. All right. So that is going to be it, everybody. We have our teams for the finals. On one hand, we have the Warpstone Womp Rats. On the other hand, we have XXYYXX. It is going to be a classic agility versus bash game. Looking forward to it. We will have the schedule up on www.bashdl.com. <laughs> yeah, more quick flash. So until next time, this is your good friend Furloo signing off saying, have a good evening, everybody. This has been a production of Furlouge's Depot and the Blood Bowl Association serving Hampton Roads and cannot be altered or rebroadcast without the express written consent of Furlouge's Depot and the Blood Bowl Association serving Hampton Roads and the all-powerful Sir Mufti Rudy Toot Toot Void where prohibited. Consult your doctor if you experience dizziness, trouble breathing, or your left toe transforms into a beast of nurdle. Conan, what is best in life? To see the inner team before you, to cross the star blades beneath your feet, and to hear 
the lamentation of their fans. That is why I'll be back for the new season of Bash, Hampton Rolls Premier League of Blood Bowl. But I need you, your friends, and even your little girly poodle to sign up now. So put that cookie down now and get your ass to Bash. The website's right there at the bottom of your screen. So what are you aiming for? Do it now. I'll see you at the party.